the, the origins of the phrase critic and conscious of society are, are somewhat unclear, partly because the, the well, well, it turned out first of all in the Hawke report of, of the working group of the post compulsory education and training sector that was commissioned by the Fourth Labour Government in 1988. And, but that, the workings of that working group were not particularly transparent. And so it's quite hard to know how the idea got into that um, report and why. What we do know is that two people that Gary Hawke talked to in the year, in the, in the months leading up to the report, claimed to have um, coined the term. One of the people was the then um, chair of the New Zealand Vice-Chancellor's Committee, Wilf Malcolm, who says that he gave Gary Hawke the phrase in an interview with him. Um, but the other was um, Gerald Graves, who was the, the head of the Department of Education at Victoria University of Wellington. And he also have had an interview with Hawke, and he, uh, he says that during that interview he provided him with a definition of what a university is that included the phrase critical conscience of society. It's possible and quite likely that the reason that the phrase emerged in the Education Amendment Bill um, was as a, as a counterweight to uh, the perceived managerialism of most of the content of that bill. So the bill was very controversial, there was a tremendous amount of criticism from many quarters but particularly strong criticism from academic quarters to the, the sense of, uh, of the intrusion of government into universities, so it's quite likely that the kind of emphasis that was given to critical conscience was a, a kind of corrective, it was like a reassurance of, you know, we are going to take away these, these freedoms, we are going to impose these accountabilities on you, but we are also going to ensure um, that you have this freedom to speak up to society, which for many people captures a very important aspect of what it means, you know, the traditional aspect of what it means to be a university.